What's up guys? I'm in South East London in Greenwich. Uh, we've just been to the Royal Maritime Museum, which is over there, and the Royal Observatory with the Prime Meridian is over there. So we went for a little wander in the park, and I've come across this, which as you can see is a sundial. So, naturally, I asked Nick questions. I said to Nick, what do you reckon this angle is? And Nick had a couple of guesses. He was like, I don't know, 60 degrees, 45 degrees, maybe it's a 60-30 triangle. I said, no. With a sundial, the angle of this away from the horizontal is equal to the number of degrees of, of latitude above the equator that you are. So in the UK, in London, we're 51 degrees north, which means that the angle between this and the horizontal is 51 degrees. I can prove this to you with a level on my phone. So we'll, uh, we'll try and make it work because before it was a bit questionable. And we can check that this angle here is not <laughs> calibrated because before it said 51. <laughs> say that the horizontal is zero, we can go away from the horizontal and find that this is 51 degrees. So it's nice that it works. So what's the sundial called? Well the face is known as the dial. This is the vertical, the thing that casts the shadow is known as the gnomon, and the edge that gives the, the shadow on the floor is known as the style. And therefore the angle between the gnomon and the floor, or the, the style in the floor, is the style angle. At the moment, it's quarter to one. If we look at the time, it's off. It's always off around noon, because there's the noon gap. So as the sun transits across the gnomon, you have the change between the right side, or the, sorry, the west side of the uh, gnomon displaying time and the east side. So it's always wrong around noon. It's also wrong at the moment because we're in British summertime. Sundials date back to about 50, um, 1500 years BCE, which is like Egyptian astronomy, and they worked out that they could tell the time using the shadow of the sun and the way that it moves across the sky. It's slightly different, different months of the year. You can get sundials where this angle will change slightly depending on the month, but for the most part, it's accurate to the nearest hour, and that's good enough for most people. So. This is a spur of the moment video about this sundial that's in Greenwich. I've been Zach, you've been watching Two Minute Topics, I'll see you in the next video.